We're asked to find the Jacobian of transformation using the transformation x equals negative three u minus two v and y equals u squared minus five v. The Jacobian would be the extra factor in the integrand function by converting the integral from x and y to u and v using this transformation. More formally, when we have a change of variables for a double integral, where r and s are the regions in the x, y plane and the u, v plane, they're related by the equations here given by x and y, where both x and y are functions of u and v. Then we're converting the double integral from x and y to u and v, as we see here. Notice how we would write the function f of x comma y as a function of u and v, and then differential a is equal to, this is the absolute value of the Jacobian, which is the extra factor in the integrand function, times the u dv. So this factor here is what we call the Jacobian. We've actually seen this before when we converted double integrals from rectangular to polar form, as well as when we converted triple integrals from rectangular to cylindrical and rectangular to spherical coordinates. Remember, when converting a double integral from rectangular to polar form, differential a was equal to r dr d theta. So notice how this integrand function has an extra factor of r, which is the Jacobian, when performing this transformation. When converting a triple integral from rectangular to cylindrical form, we also had an extra factor of r, which is the Jacobian. And then finally, when converting a triple integral from rectangular to spherical coordinates, differential v was equal to rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. Notice how we have an extra factor of rho squared sine phi in the new integrand function, which again is a Jacobian. To determine the Jacobian, we want to evaluate this two by two determinant, but notice how the elements are made up of the partial derivatives of x and y with respect to u and v. To evaluate this two by two determinant, we can use this formula here, which if you recall is just this product minus this product. So going back to our example, let's begin by determining the partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of x with respect to u would be equal to negative three. The partial derivative of x with respect to v would be negative two. Now looking at our equation y, the partial of y with respect to u would be equal to two u. And the partial of y with respect to v would be equal to negative five. So now we'll find our Jacobian. which again is equal to this two by two determinant. The elements in the first row are the partial derivatives of x with respect to u and v. So we'd have negative three, negative two. The elements in the second row are the partials of y with respect to u and v, which are two u and negative five. So again, the value of this two by two determinant is going to be this product minus this product which is the same as this formula here. So in our case, we'll have negative three times negative five minus negative two times two u. So the Jacobian is equal to 15, and then we'd have plus four u. Which means if we had a double integral and we perform this transformation, the new integrand function in terms of u and v is going to have an extra factor of 15 plus four u. I hope you found this helpful.